Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how I modify Cricut insert card projects to use with my Cricut cutaway cards in Design Space. It's super easy to do and lots of fun. If you're looking for my Facebook groups, you'll find links in the description right under this video, along with my Cricut Shop affiliate link and discount information. From your design space landing page or home page, you're going to the top right and you're going to click on My Projects. You'll go to the drop down menu for My Projects and let's scroll down to Cutaway Cards first. And you can see at this time there is not a huge variety available, but there are a lot of insert cards and that made me think maybe you'd like to use those insert cards with your cutaways. So let's go to the drop down again and we'll change to insert cards. Let's just pick one that's all cutting. There's no draw lines on this one, so we'll start with this one. And I'll show you more than one. Because it's a ready to make project, it's going directly to my cut screen. This card is meant for a square four and three quarters by four and three quarters, an S40. So once you have it here, you're just going to your hamburger on the top left and click canvas. And the image will come right onto your canvas. From there, you can so easily select it. Go to contour on the bottom right. And we can remove the corner cuts just like that. Now you have only the dress. Let's go to shapes, get a square, and I'm going to size that square four and three quarters, just like the S40 cards. And I'll change the color so you can see better. We'll send it to the back and you can see exactly what this would look like. At this point, if you want to, you can make it larger. You know it's going to fit on that S40. Hide the square. Go make it. And we'll change this to an S40. And there you go. You can make up to four of them on one mat. Let's cancel. We'll stay with this one. Let's say I want to use this dress, but I want the card to be an R30. So I'm going to use as my dimensions for this square, 4.5, unlock it and go 6.25 for the height. Now that's the size of an R30 card. I'm going to take my dress and put it on and then maybe I'll add something to it, like, let's celebrate prom. Go to alignment and center that text and we'll make it smaller. We'll put it on the card. Select all together, align and center horizontally. That looks cute, but I can hide the square, select all of this together and attach. Then let's get back our square or rectangle, I should say. Let's make this a little bigger just by unlocking it. Spread it out a little. And I like how that looks. I'm going to hide the rectangle and click make it. It preset to an R30, 4.5 by 6.25. I can increase it to as many as I'd like to cut on my mat or on two mats or three mats, whatever you like. And this we made from an insert card. It wasn't available in cutaway cards, so we used an insert card to make our own. Let's cancel that. 
We'll delete this whole thing we don't need. And I'll unhide the rectangle. We'll use it again. Okay, let's go to My Projects again. Use the drop down and go to Insert Cards. And I'm going to choose one that I showed you in the group. Here, we'll select that one and click Make It. Replace. I'm going to change it to an S40 as the card is made for an S40. Go to my hamburger again and click canvas. Okay, so now we have this card. If you take a look down at the bottom right, your contour tab is not available because you have pens used in this card. So we're just going to hide those pens. Don't delete them, you still want them. Just hide them on your layers panel. Now when you highlight the card, you can use contour and you can take out those corner cuts. Let's unhide the writing. That's cute. We'll go to shapes and get a square again. You can use it, keep it just like it is as a square cutaway card, or we can change the size. I'm going to make it a different color. There we go. And I'm going to make it an R30 again. So 4.5. Let's send it to the back. You can keep it just like it is and enlarge it to fit on this card. Or you can keep it a little smaller. And like I did with the dress, you can add something to it. So let's go to images and write um, congratulations. And I want something that's for drawing. I'll go with that. And let's choose this one and add to canvas. We need to make it smaller for sure. And we can add that to the card. Select all, align, center horizontally. And that looks really cute and makes the card really interesting. So I'm going to my layers panel and I'm going to select one of the writing. Hold down my shift key and select the other two. So I have all three selected. Go up to operations. I'm going to use an extra fine point pen and it's black. Of course, you can choose whichever pen, marker and color you like. So that's all changed to the same color now. Hide my rectangle, select all together and attach. And we'll go to make it. And there you have it. You could have also, let's unhide that. You could have also made this after attaching, you could have also made it a little larger if you wanted to. So it takes up more of your cutaway card. Terrific. We'll hide that yellow square again. Go make it again. And doesn't it look great? Apply. As you can see, this is really easy to do and it opens up a variety of cards that you may not have realized you could use. So you can do any of the insert cards, just remove those corners by using contour. You can add text, you can add other cutouts to them, whatever you like. So I hope you're going to use this method and please post pictures in the group if you do. I'd love to see what you do with it. Thank you for watching.